Hey everybody, it's Barbara. I'm back today with another in the background video. I'm going to show you how I did this um, wash, uh, watercolor wash, um, and in an emboss resist mode. I'm using the new damask background from My Favorite Things. I absolutely love this background. You might get sick of seeing it. I just love it. It is so elegant, but it's so versatile too. So first of all, I'm inking it up with Versamark, and I'm going to um, stamp it on watercolor paper. I'm going to be using um, Wild Cherry Premium Dye Ink and Black Licorice Premium Dye Ink for my wash. But first of all, I'm going to heat emboss it with white embossing powder. You'll be able to see the design emerge now once the powder is on. And I can't really believe how well this stamp does with embossing. I've done a couple and it really shows every little detail. So going off to heat emboss, I'll be back. There, that didn't take too long. I had three interruptions during this video, so if it looks a little choppy, that's why. Can you see that detail? Oh my goodness, it just warms my heart. So I have not done one of these before, so you're going to be seeing the original. Um, all of the um, mistakes or, or uh, retries, you'll be seeing them from the get-go. So I'm using Wild Cherry ink and my water brush. And since I want the ink to really grab on this paper, um, around the embossing. I did not spritz my paper first because that would have made it run more but I want this to kind of soak in because I want that background to have some color. So I'm just putting it all over. Just sort of smearing it on and then I'm going to take a paper towel and blot it off. Some of it. And this is a lot, this one is a lot of trial trial and error till I got it right. You'll see. So I think I probably took a little too much off, but better that than to have it too dark. I'd rather add layers than to um, have to toss it and start all over again. So adding more of the wild cherry ink with my water brush, and then I'm blotting off the excess. And you can see that damask um, design really emerging in the white. I think I got too much off there. But again, better too little than uh, too much. So I'll just keep adding until um, I have it the way I want it to look. Isn't that damask just gorgeous? I just can't say that enough. So that's getting better. That's getting better. So I think now I will add some black because I want this to be kind of a um, mottled look. Um, just a little of the black kind of here and there. Kind of like distressing in a way. So I put some of that on with my brush and wiped it off. And some of it stayed but probably not enough. So I'm just going to keep adding. And that's looking better. That's a little too much at the top so I just, just squeeze some water out of my brush and it will dilute it and make it run off. So what, one thing I really love about this technique is there really is no wrong way to do it. There really are not any mistakes that you can't fix. At least that I haven't found any. So now what we have is both colors on there but I think it's too light again. So I think I need to add um, some more red. That was one of the interruptions. Sorry. <laughs> thought I was never going to get this video finished. So I'm smearing it all over again with my brush. And we'll see what happens now. And I'm going to blot really lightly this time because I don't want to take off too much. I can always go back and take off more or um, dilute it with water. So now we're going to put some uh, more black on. 
I'm just um, making sure I have my brush really wet so that that black will flow. I don't want it to um, puddle too much. I want it to look sort of like distressing so it needs to flow. Just add and blot until I get it like I want it. It's getting better. It's getting better. But it's still not quite where I want it. So I'm going to add some more red. And this time I um, am just squirting it on um, water and I'm just going to let it kind of run all over the card and so it will seek the lowest area which is between all of the um, embossing. So um, hopefully it will be darker in between the embossing. And I'm going to do the same thing with the black. And I really found this maybe is the best way to do this but maybe it was all the layers together that made it finally turn out the way I wanted it. So I lightly blotted that, very lightly is to get the excess off. And I think I like that. I think that's where I wanted it to be. I can ma imagine doing this with the, uh, several colors. Can't you? Oh, I just can't wait to do it more. So now I'm going to show you how I put the card together. I am using um, a new Dynamics die from my favorite things. It's called Heart Puzzle Dynamics. Um, it is scored to look like a puzzle. I'm not sure if you can see that on this, but um, I'll show you the die so you can see how that looks. You can see all of the um, puzzle marks. So I left the heart in there, so I just taped it on the back because I'm going to add a, uh, I wanted it as a base because I'm going to add the uh, glitter heart on top and pop that up. I'm using a new set called Smitten With You. I'm using um, Cherry Crisp cardstock for the heart. I'm using Grout Gray for the base. And now I'm going to trim on each side of this because I want all the edges to look alike. And where the ink um, kind of runs off the sides, then if I trim just on two sides, then two sides would look different because the ink would be there. So I just trimmed a little off of each side so that all the edges would look alike. And in between there, in one of the interruptions, I dried it with my heat tool. And then I'm just going to put some foam tape on the back so I can pop that up on my card base. The sentiment uh, strips that you see um, from Smitten With You, I stamped on black licorice card stock with Sweet Tooth pigment ink and embossed it with um, some white embossing powder. Okay, I'll pop that up. And I already have the um, thumb tape on the back of my heart. So I'm going to pop that up to just a little off center to the left. And now I'm going to add my sentiments. I'd already placed them, so I knew I needed two layers um, on that far left edge. So I'm pop them up on the heart. Same thing with the other part of the sentiment. This sentiment is so cute with that puzzle, don't you think? And then the next thing I'm going to do is pop up my little glitter heart. Now the only thing, um, I think it needs a little something else. So I'm just going to put some um, silver um, sequins here and there. Now bear with me on this because um, some people may know exactly where they want to put these things but not me. I have to do a lot of trial and error, uh, lay them out, move them around until I get them where I'm happy with them so um, I'll let you watch that process too. I'm using several sizes because I think that looks better than um, all one size. And I'm just moving them around, seeing how I like the look. Move them some more.
Nope, don't like that. Not quite happy with that. It looks like there needs to be something there in that little space, but I don't really like it when it's there. So let's move that. Keep moving, keep moving. I think that's it. So now I'm going to um, adhere them down with my quickie glue pen. They, um, I think they just really add a little extra sparkle and kind of tie in with that um, glitter heart. I can remember a time when I would not use a sequin for anything, but I have sort of become obsessed with them. And we're about done. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching.